uh, I feel very proud to be an Indian. And I'm sure a lot of people feel. But corruption bothers me. And I'm sure you also spoke about it. How do you think spirituality can help get rid of corruption to some extent? So let's understand this uh, corruption because it's a, it's a very important thing that everybody understands this properly in its right perspective. Rather than reacting against a bunch of people who are in an advantageous position, okay? <laughs> Why I want you to understand this is because for the first time in the history of independent India, the sixty-four years, that means two generations of people, they have at least fifty to sixty percent of them have had such a bad deal. Yes. Today you and me, we'll talk all this and go home and eat well. Correct. There's a whole bunch of people, almost four hundred million people who cannot do that. So. If we handle the next five to ten years right, we can change that. It's a tremendous possibility which is on our threshold. There's an economic possibility sitting on the threshold. If we conduct this right, we can change their lives. Those people who have not eaten properly, those children who are malnourished, which have the highest level of malnourishment, those who are not educated, those who don't have opportunities, those who are in that horrible social and economic pit, their lives can change in the next five to ten years if we conduct our act right. Every Indian should understand this. It is not just about economy means stock market. It is about hungry people who will have food on their plate. Economy does not mean stock market, economy does not mean uh, foreign cars coming into India, economy does not mean you wear better clothes or this and that. Improving economy means there will be no hungry children in the country, which is something all of us should do something about. And that possibility, that possibility is being jeopardized. Wherever I go, I speak to various economic and political leaders around the world, everybody says, we want to come to India, India is a big possibility, but the humiliation of corruption, we can't bear it. Because it's not just about money, they're willing to pay a percentage and get the work done, but the humiliation that they're put through on a daily basis, which we have gotten used to, they're not willing to go through that. They said, it doesn't matter if we don't do business, but we don't want to come there and go through all that rubbish. So, this possibility is being jeopardized by a handful of people, or it is wrong to say it's a handful of people, it's a nation full of corruption. Correct. Because how many people in Mumbai streets, if there is no policeman, will start at the red stop at the red light. I think only ten percent will stop. So these ninety percent are corrupt people. If they make… if you make them the chief ministers and prime ministers, you know what they will do. So instead of just calling it by one bad word called corruption, we need to understand we as a society are trying to move from a feudalistic way of managing our lives to a democratic way. The democratic way has still not sunk into us. Suppose you become the chief minister of this state, your relatives and your friends will expect that you do something for them. If you become the chief minister and you're very strict and you, you will not yield to any nepotism, this, this, they'll think, what is this? He's my brother, he became chief minister, Just look at him, he doesn't look at me. He does not understand you're being straight, you're doing something for the country. So I am saying in our psyche, we are still feudalistic in nature but we are trying to run a democracy. Democracy will not happen with an active sense of education as to what is democracy, what is the power of democracy, what it means, what is the responsibility of living in a democratic society. This has not been done. We just took democracy from the British and we think if they just put their oat and get their fingers dirty once in five years, everything is settled. No, we have not educated people. We are still a feudalistic society acting to be Democratic. democratic. So, many people, the corrupt people, the very, very corrupt people in the country, I have met them, they are bewildered. Why are people upset? I'm only doing for my family <laughs> <laughs> This is just yeah, a little bit of right. uh, misunderstanding about uh, Einstein's theory of relativity. You know, Einstein said everything is relative. They misunderstood relatives are everything.
let me uh, let me ask you a hypothetical question uh, suppose hypothetical question i must announce that before that suppose you were made the prime minister of this country for one month how will you change things see there are enough instruments in the democratic process making me or anybody a prime minister for one month is a cruel thing okay for five years yes <laughs> So you admit that one month is not sufficient. No, I, because I one understand. month is a very cruel joke. It doesn't matter who, who comes to power for one month, he can't do anything in a nation as diverse as India. To get this nation moving, you need to understand this. You cannot move this nation with policy, with rules. You can only move this nation when anything that you want to achieve in this country, you make it a movement. If you do not make it a movement, if people do not emotionally connect to that, no rules, no policy is going to work in this country. It is only people who have been implanted from somewhere, who have not grown up with Indian people, who do not understand this. They think if you make a rule, everything is going to work. This is not Switzerland. If you announce in the notice board, everybody will follow. Mm. <laughs> Here you have to make a movement out of it. You have to make emotionally… people connect emotionally to what needs to be achieved. If you are not able to do that, nothing is ever going to happen. So, whoever becomes the prime minister, I don't want to imagine myself there. Okay. What do you think should be done? It can be very easily done. There are examples of states which are going leaps and bounds ahead. If you Absolutely. saw Bihar just ten years ago, it was just… I've driven through Bihar just wanting to see what Bihar is. It was… it just looked like Afghanistan, hmm. large parts of it. Correct. Today things are happening. Absolutely. Wonderful things are happening, just one man. Things are happening in Gujarat, just one man. Absolutely. So can't we produce twenty-five men or women like that in this country for every state? Are we so important that we cannot produce twenty-five human beings with some integrity who will do something straight for this nation? And today you don't have to do much. India is sitting on a boom time. You just have to just manage a few things and let it happen, that's all. You just have to see that economic process do not go out of control. You just have to manage that, you don't have to do anything. It's boom time, the whole world is looking towards you. The only two economies everybody is banking on is right now China, China and, and India. India. India is better equipped because it's a democracy because all the numbers are scrutinized, but what is in China cannot be scrutinized. So many people are very suspicious and fearful because it's supported by the government. India has a proper corporate structure, India have a, he has a reliable uh, stock market which is a reading. Indian market is open, you can study what you want, you know where you're putting your money. So definitely India would be a natural destination for every investor in the world. Only thing is they're afraid of our system. Corruption, not the system. They like our system. Our corruption… Corrupt system. System is not corrupt. Corruption. Corruption. The reason <laughs> it's the people who he are manning it… He has a way it. of making me say things that he wants me to no, say. No, <laughs> no, the people who are manning it, people who are manning it are the problem. But how yeah. do we find, find them? You mentioned two states, you mentioned Gujarat and you mentioned Bihar. And strangely they are not the states which, which we have in the center. So how do we… are we politically corrupt, politically completely bankrupt? Uh, how do we do that? I mean, no, no, it's no. A it is… it is only because common people are not participating in the democratic Correct. process. Yes. Participating in the democratic process does not just mean once in five years you ca cast your vote. Most people don't even do that. But I'm saying even if you do that, that is not enough. Democracy is a… is an active sport, it's not a spectator sport. You can't sit back and say, let somebody do democracy. Democracy means you are the boss, you can't sleep on it. You have to be active to everything around you. If you do not bring that consciousness in people, that awareness and activism in people, it'll not work. At the same time, for everything you protest, for everything you call a band, for everything, you know, our, it's our culture. People have understood the technology of how to stop the nation, band, hartal, but how to run the nation, it's a different technology. If you want to become a neta tomorrow, you don't have to create anything, do you understand? All you have to do is, I'm sure you have enough fans in Mumbai, 
take thousand people and block the ceiling. It's a new road. That's it. Just block it, you will become a neta. You don't have to build the ceiling to become a neta. If you build, you will be in lots of trouble. If you block it, you are there. <laughs> I, I personally feel that uh, I think we are to be blamed for getting the kind of leaders that we get. So, you have millions of followers uh, or whatever you want to call them. I will suddenly say that they are not my followers. You have millions of friends here, okay? <laughs> You're treating you me like trouble. You have millions trouble. of people who like you, okay. <laughs> Let's take a promise from them that in the coming elections, all of them will vote. It is not that they have to make a promise, they already are doing it. Nobody misses it. I myself go stand in the line and vote always. No, 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 I'm not going to make it for easy for all of you. I, on behalf of the, Sadhguru… This crowd is largely your followers. <laughs> no, 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 no. This crowd, I have no followers. I have followers on Twitter and there are four lakhs of people which is very good. I have no followers, I don't claim to have followers. I want this and all those millions of people who are watching this on… Um, in various parts of the world to make one promise on my behalf to Sadhguru that next coming elections they will all vote. Is that a promise? Yes. So no, we have achieved… No, I am not happy with that. I am, I am saying, I am saying at least once a month in your street, in your region, whatever is the sticking points in your area, in your street, just make a list of that, get a few people together, whoever the counselor, the MLA, call him for a meeting, talk to him what needs to happen. Casting vote once in five years is not good enough because you employ somebody and you don't see that he works. That is not… does make sense, isn't it? I grew up in a sm 